Sir, again, as we stand at this TICOM on October 1st, we want to just get the message out to the fleet on what we're going to be able to provide for them, those different areas that we'll be able to provide. You touched on it a little bit with parallel to the other, the other TICOMs for surface. Right. Um, but our, our service, our war fighting area is across all of those different fields. Right. So we wanted to tie in how sailors interact with our community specifically and how the TICOM will be able to help them. Sure. Uh, that's a good point, and it's a good question. A lot of folks think, okay, we're standing up information dominance force for the sake of the, of the cyber people, if you will. Actually, that's kind of true. That's partially true. We are aligning the information dominance force to, uh, so it looks, kind of speaks, and, and is shaped like other type commanders. So if you're uh, in the submarine force and, and you have uh, equipment on board and you're saying, is this uh, cyber safe, if you will? In other words, is it no viruses? How do I get it certified? How do I train on this? Who do I talk to? I don't have enough ITs on my submarine. I mean, who, who do you call? Well, you would call the type commander. If it was a surface issue, you would call surf for. So it's, it's aligning the rest of the Navy and having them understand this, this information dominance core is not all that different, you know. It, it actually has it has networks instead of for, uh, instead of platforms. Uh, it deals in information instead of maybe bullets, but it's still a part of warfare. And as I can be saying over and over and over again, if you control the, the information, you're going to control the outcome. So really, the bottom line is, uh, Cleo, it's for the other uh, type commanders to align ourselves up and understand the readiness of the IDC Corps like we understand the readiness of the other forces and platforms.